Welcome to the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory. My name is Jennifer Howes and I'm a proud member of the Métis Nation of Alberta. The Rothney Astrophysical Observatory is located under the starry skies of the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy comprising of the Sitsika, Pakani and Kainai First Nations, as well as the Sutsina First Nation and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nations. The City of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. The most obvious changes one notices in the sky are the rising and setting of the sun and moon. For those who look a bit more carefully, the stars and planets also move from hour to hour and night to night. Hello, I'm Phil Langell, director of the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory. Welcome to our exploration of apparent versus real motion. When we watch the sun rise from the RAO here in the foothills of Southern Alberta, we notice that the exact point on the eastern horizon that the sun first touches changes from day to day. This is apparent motion, or how an object appears to move in the sky based upon one's particular vantage point on the Earth. The apparent versus actual motion of celestial objects is the basis of understanding our place in the universe. The repetitive cycle of the shifting of the sun's rising point, which follows a predictable pattern from solstice to solstice, takes one solar year to complete. On the day of the summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year, the sun reaches its highest point in the sky at midday. In southern Alberta, the sun is almost straight up over our heads. The opposite happens on the day of the winter solstice. This is a description of the sun's apparent motion. The actual motion is fascinating. How the sun appears to move in the sky, its apparent motion, is the result of two very different, more fundamental motions. The Earth spins on its axis of rotation and it orbits the Sun on a flat plane, and these two motions happen at the same time. The orientation of the spin axis with respect to its orbital plane is another key factor in understanding the Sun's apparent motion, and hence the seasons. The spin is not perpendicular to the plane, it's tipped over 23 and a half degrees. How long does it take the Earth to spin one time on its axis? Most people would agree it's the time it takes the Sun to go around the sky one time or 24 hours. This is an interval of time called the apparent day, commonly called the solar day, but it is not equal to the time it takes for the Earth to spin once. Because those two fundamental motions happen at the same time, it appears the Earth spins once in 24 hours. The amount of time it actually takes the Earth to spin one time on its axis is 23 hours and 56 minutes. The orbits of the Sun and the Moon are fundamental knowledge with the traditional ways of knowing of the Indigenous peoples of Southern Alberta. The Sun and Moon rise and set are woven into the transfer of knowledge between generations. This science of comprehending the motion of the sun and the moon in the sky were key to using the sky as a clock, calendar, and a compass. This illustration is called Old Man Napi. The artist Bryce Singer is very heavily influenced by his surroundings living on the Blood Tribe in southern Alberta on Treaty 7 territory. The moon and earth in Old Man Napi are characters based on Blackfoot creation stories. The drawing is Bryce's interpretation. The moon and earth are about observing our environment and remembering their stories. So here we have Napi. The reason he is drawn twice is to highlight his change of character. Originally Napi was created to help all living beings and spirits on earth and to be a sort of watcher or protector. But as time went on, the power he had been given by the creator and having lived for such a long period of time, Napi eventually started to do bad things with his gifts. Just as he was well known for many good things, the bad things he did were questioned and are still questioned today. The reason Napi also appears to be holding the earth in his hand 
is to show how much of his power influenced the world we have come to understand. While also being very respectful and powerful at first, Nopi can also be an example for changes we experience as human beings living on Earth. Another example of actual versus apparent motion is related to the cycle of phases of the Moon. Most people would say that in the time it takes the Moon to change from full to new and back to full phase, is equal to the time it takes the Moon to orbit the Earth one time. But this is not so. The cycle of the Moon's phases is called a lunar month. It is a bit more than two days longer than the time it takes the Moon to go around the Earth one time. Again, the offset is because of two different motions happening at the same time. In this case, it's the motion of the Earth in its orbit around the Sun and the orbit of the Moon in its orbit around the Earth. A marvelous example of apparent motion is one that results in apparently no motion at all. Whenever we see the Moon, we see the same side every time. Most people would say it's because the Moon doesn't spin, but this is not so. The apparent steadiness of the Moon's gaze is because two fundamental motions are happening at the same time. In this case, it's the orbital motion of the Moon around the Earth and the spin of the Moon around its axis. The periods of each are the same, thus cancelling each other out from the perspective of a person on the Earth. The Earth and its Moon are bound together in this interesting gravitational dance, producing a tidal force on each other. Over long periods of time, this gravitational interaction slows the spin of the Earth and causes the Moon to slowly move further away from the Earth. The shifting of the Moon in the sky throughout the year acted as a calendar for Indigenous peoples. The appearance of the eight phases of the Moon symbolizes the passing of time and is a way to mark the passing of the seasons. In autumn, the Moon is orbiting closest to the eastern horizon. So as the full Moon rises, distortion caused by the Earth's atmosphere makes the Moon appear much larger. As it rises further into the night sky, the Moon returns to its usual size to the human eye. The progress of the Earth as it spins on its axis and moves forward in space creates time on the Earth. The motion of the Sun and the Moon above has been a symbol of our direct connection to the universe.